Hello there, this is Kate in the Nest, and I'm so glad you couldn't join me right now. I hope that you are well, that you're relaxing, and that you have some time to uh, share some Thursday treasures. I'm going to call this one. Um, I do want to start out, though, with a massive thank you. I have been absolutely overwhelmed by the comments about the Betty Quilt, and I've actually seen my mum today. I want to do a shout out to Rachel. Um, you're amazing. You keep us going and now it is our time to support you. And Lulu, it's it's a hard thing when our little ones fly out of the nest. But as my mum reminded me today, that is what we need to do. We need to bring up our young ones and have them ready to fly. So Rachel, sincerely, um, you've done, we've loved um, watching um, your Lulu and your relationship and your the things that you share together. So sending strength and hugs, it will get better. Um, and yeah, that's just all, you know, let, yeah, I don't want to get too um, soppy either. Otherwise, I'll start crying again. So today I'm back from seeing my mum. We had a special time. <laughs> She's told me that she's watching my videos again, which is a great sign. So, but my quilt is still a surprise at this point. But look, she had one of her bags packed full of things um, for me to, to bring home. And I said, I'll return the bag. And she said, no, no, I've got, you know, about another 10 of these <laughs> hanging in the wardrobe. So this is where Kate gets it from and how blessed Um I feel to be able to share her work now, not only with our family who who have admired it for years, but a new audience. So um, that's her machine applique. She gave me, she said she went through a, a, a stage of making these as bookmarks. So here's a happy pink bunny and that's gonna go in my, what Katie did next. She gave me all sorts of funny things that I'm not going to show, um, yeah things that she said have you got a magnetic pin hold and I went no and she said have you got one of these for ironing and I went no anyway so I've got a lot of bulky things and then she'd gone through since last time and um, because she'd seen that I was using pink and green uh, shout out to Beck as well I just saw an Instagram as Beck of so be created that um, they it's exciting times um, they're closing the shop and moving to their bigger one. So um, that's that's an incredible thing. So congratulations, Beck. We're sending love to you as well. So here we go. And mum put in, um, I, I went to Beck because Beck loves green um, and has just a beautiful um, color palette. So there we are. Now, so that was that. And in here, I've chosen to do the reveal in mum's bag because we also um, um, got to go to the sewing basket. So I have some treasures in here to share. Um, actually, mum didn't come with me to the sewing basket. We went for coffee, we went to shops, we went to the bank, we went to lots of other places and she was tired by the end. It's also very, very cold. It's like winter has come back overnight. So we're all back in our jumpers and rainy. So I tucked her up. Um, but look at the back of this. Cute little things. All right. So this is a sewing basket. Share. I think I, there were hardly any <laughs> toilets there at all. So I think... The shop is still probably recovering from Sarah's visit. And, you know, I loved that video watching um, all the things that Sarah um, was able to find the treasures. So, um, like always, this is, I know you, many, many, many of you don't have a sewing basket type of shop near you. So I do this just to share and to make you feel like you're here with me because you are. Um, in spirit and certainly in the nest. Okay, I have in mind my, as always, my big slow stitch quilt. 
um, which I've changed the name. I, I, I'm just going to call it I'm in the garden because, you know, sometimes when we're looking for each other, someone goes, where are you? I'm in the garden. So literally that quilt is flowers and birds and butterflies it will be. So these are some things for the garden quilt. Oh, there's the crunkle, everyone. Let's have a look at these. So yeah, very, very few doilies there today. But this one is colourful and I thought that was just pure um, joy. I can use, I can see a hundred uses for that. And I thought in terms of um, amount of embroidery um, on one piece, that was wonderful. I think this is commercial lace around here. I won't um, use that. I will harvest it. Um, but there's that, the big piece. And then, oh, can't get it undone. There's one, and there's another one. So with Beck on my mind, I also thought that these would make beautiful little pages in a um, needle book, or even in my housewife that I'm making. Um, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful set. Okay, so it is really a, a mixed combination of things. So I hope you're going to enjoy. Look how they do things um, up. I just love that, that that's a treasure in itself, the bow and the button. That's not going to come off easily. So this is um, crochet and it's a star pattern. And you can see this is very Kate because it's been torn off um, something else. And look at that edge that's already frayed for me so that is doesn't say how long it is but that is just going to be you'll see that a lot because each little motif um, can be used for things I love using these in my paper journals as well um, on pages so that's that one now crinkle crinkle actually I might just save that for a minute because we'll open that. This doily was in the wrong place. It wasn't in the doily drawer. It was in the unfinished embroideries. And this, I think, is my favourite of the day. The edging is so, so fine. Um, you know, so it almost looks a bit rough. But guess what? This is going on the Betty quilt because we were just saying my mum lives with my sister and so they're having a multi-generational house which is absolutely a wonderful thing she will stay there and not go um, anywhere so we were talking about establishing a home and my sister has a cat that is gigantic but he comes and sleeps on mum's bed and underneath her chair when she's trying um, to stitch. And I thought these were colours like a little bit like my colours and her garden. So that is, you will see that on the Betty quilt in its entirety. Um, so that was a treasure. I found one tablecloth and it was the only one with embroidery on it and you know in my garden quilt um i'm love using tablecloths and in fact that's the basis of the work but um i shouldn't even say but i should just say look at this <laughs> can you see why i'm excited beautiful work in sunny colors satin stitch it's cotton um and i love that it's sort of let the eye leads all the way along here so we have that work in each of the um, corners so stain in there which shows it's been loved and used so 
in fact stains everywhere which is what um ironically you know when we have <laughs> with ourselves we want to get rid of stains but in work like this it just shows the love there and drawn thread around a bit of a rip so love 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 that the talking about the embroidery draw I went in and this was in in there so the price is still on here because it's quite um it's linen and it's quite a large work um, but unfinished so we have um the large piece where someone's gone to a lot of trouble this uh, this stitch always reminds me of my stitching when i was a teenager that i put on my blouses i mum would make me a white shirt and i would put these down the front um but you can see that time has run out or something's happened in life and the trees have not been finished but in terms of stitching i'm just gonna sorry if that's too far away um look at look at the detail there and so beautifully colored so harvesting wise this piece is going to um bring much joy because there are so many stitches already done and um, I love it so not only the large piece but the are they the same yep oh look at that is that how we spell doily can you see that must be and this one has been completed and it's got the little edging so someone's put this donated it to the sewing basket so remember everything is to raise money um, for people with disabilities so the goods are donated and then sold back so I love that I'm both preserving and helping um, and it's often it's young people um, you see them in in the store so can you see how much I love that one talking about it a lot okay this I think is also a bargain and a find so I, I think this was in the unfinished and we're, we'll have a look at this they've taped it up but I saw somewhere that it was made in Holland or was I dreaming that Anita I thought of you so let's have a look and see the story that unfolds in here crinkle crinkle so let's pull it all out and work out what we've, we've got so number one and maybe someone who's watching knows more way more about this than me it's been called Stella so all these beautiful colors I'll use that yellow and that orange um, definitely so all the cotton there and then the pattern oh yes here it is springtime made in Holland and it's a big hanging look at that look how much Oh, it's a bell pull in cross stitch and back stitch. That is amazing. So I've never even seen a bell pull. So this is what Fosser King in the sewing basket brings us. So a beautiful pattern that obviously, oh, I'll use this in my, wow. Does this look like it's been coloured in? Is that what, how it works? Because all of that's black and white. And this is stitch. These will go in my journal. Beautiful. See paper. 
paper and fabric and happiness. All right, let's have a closer look at the actual, that would be very Kate. It's already tangled up. Chop, chop, chop. And look at this. Look at that beautiful fine work. So yes, maybe it, it, it does coincide. So that's the only bit that's done and the rest is ready to be done. Oh, I've just realized that the pattern isn't on here. It's been counted. Wow. I love that. That's an entirety. So that could go on one of my quilts. In fact, look, it could have even gone <laughs> on summer because it's got the um, the roots there. Bit of staining up there, so it's obviously quite old. But Anita, I'm thinking of you, and um, you probably know more about that than I do. So yeah, it does look like they've the person has crossed things out. Or maybe I'm completely wrong with that. Let's add that to the pile. And here we go. I spent $25 on this. And I'm not a quilter. Um, but I think this feels like a bargain to me. Unsure, full fabric included some diamonds cut. And it's from here. This is the name of the quilt. And it's heavy, everyone. I love cellophane. It's just like going, it's like Christmas. Let's pull it out and you can tell me if I've got a bargain. And it doesn't matter if I haven't. Because I just love it. Big quilt, nine borders, 2.4 meters for sashing. Here's the pattern. Here's a photo. That's from Kalara is in Sydney. And again, some of our Sydney viewers might know that store. Okay. Templates. Oh. Let's have a look at these first. Oh, look at these. Oh, that's, these are little features. That's a church. Have I done something today with my, I'll just move it up a bit. Church, dancing couple, beautiful flower. Oh, look at these. See, I haven't even looked at the big material <laughs> and I'm feeling very excited. Okay, I did ask my mum what her favourite flower was and she says it's always been roses. So there's some of that for mum and for Kalpana as well. That's another little couple and carnations, etc. Oh, beautiful. I absolutely love that. Look at that. That's really... Um, fine fabric and here's someone on this one playing tennis or croquet okay. I'm lucky that mainly I feel that this is passed on to loving hands and I will share this because I won't use all of this fabric but look at these, we'll just flip through. 
exquisite. So talk about me needing to go shopping for rose fabric <laughs> um, for some of my works and not finding it in embroideries. Look at these. I'll try not to mess them up. Oh, look at that one. Okay, so I see now they've harvested. Oh, look at that pattern. They've harvested those little diamonds off this bigger piece. Look at that. So much fun. Oh, look at Oh, gosh. Sorry, everyone. I'm, <laughs> I'm beside myself with the excitement. And that feels like that's got a beautiful grain in it, that fabric. Absolutely glorious. There's the fine one. Now, if you're a quilter, you probably know more about these fabrics than I do. But look how perfectly matched they are. And then there's this really big bit. And this bit. And this bit. So we need a green. And then that. Oh, and it's still going. It's still going. can see that my <laughs> again here we go Kate I, I can just see my appreciation of fabric growing and growing and I'm looking with new eyes so I think that's incredible like sometimes you buy a fat quarter or whatever they're called for about six dollars or so I've got all of that for twenty five dollars plus the little tiny things. So watch out, everyone, you'll see those come. All right, so I've got one more thing to show you, and it's this. Now, I haven't seen, and it's, look, they always have something different when you go there, and, you know, I've got my beautiful orange pack that um, I didn't open, but this one, I am going to open with you. So this is $12 and the colours just really appealed to me. I think we all had so much fun watching Sarah um, from Roxy Creations on a trip a few weeks ago. And I thought I want to <laughs> I want to share the fun with my friends on YouTube. That bit. It's even been individually got some sticky tape on it. So let's put that up there. Okay, so velvet ribbon, thin and thick. Oh, aren't those ladies gorgeous? It's all been stuck together so it doesn't move in the packaging. A lovely, this is cotton, a little trim. A doily round I can always use those in my work a fine little hanky is that embroidered or stuck on there even look aren't they wonderful just going to the trouble of making that look so sweet <laughs> everything is stuck <laughs> of it um dmc that's a beautiful color that i would definitely use i don't think it's quite our juju's mustard but um yeah that will go with my work individual crochet mode so that's an idea if you've got a lot of um you know those bigger crochet pieces look how effective they look um as singles some interesting buttons Probably won't use the brass one, but I'll put it in my treasure treasure trove of buttons and things. Now this is, so I'm going to have to take that off because it just looks a bit silly while I'm trying to open it up. Look at this fabric. It's um, 
beautiful and it's got these tiny little sequins so I might put that in coffee or um, tea part of it there's a big there's a lot oh I do love that up there as well isn't that beautiful so we'll definitely use lots of bits of that oh here we go look definitely Betty quilt a heart that's just a message and that's me sending love to all of you as well watching because that is exquisite love 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 so that's on a piece of I'm not good at my fabrics yet but that's beautiful I also did <laughs> Are you laughing with me? I hope so, because guess what? Kate's fringy love, she's got her first tassels. And I'm thinking they will go beautifully on a pouch or on something that could be in my garden. I don't know, but I love those. <laughs> They're waving to you. And this piece I also adore. Look, they put that little flower there. This might go shiny on you, but I hope you can bear with it because look, it's um, embossed, would we call that? But I'm thinking that would be beautiful to em embroider over the top. I might cut it into some... Um, collage strips or it might even go in my summer which I'm going to oh and look at the back look at that what value when you have two sides no wonder which side is meant to be but look at that combination that is joyful sunny especially when it's rainy <laughs> And cold again here. So I think I will call that enough of a share for the moment thinking that I've got all these beautiful colors here. I've got a heart. I've got mum's cat. Let's put that there. So my first tassels <laughs> and all these beautiful pieces of fabric some garden I'm just trying to I'll finish off with just giving you a garden to keep you smiling until next time we get together did I talk about those I think they're made of ribbons and they just well yeah I think I do they'll go in my garden okay so this is Kate in the Nest saying thank you so much for joining me. I'm wishing you joy to all of us who have things uh, that may be emotional for us at the moment. I just want us all to give a virtual hug um, and just feel so grateful for this community. So until next time, this is Kate in the Nest wishing you happy stitching, making or whatever you're up to um, and bye for now.